Hi there guys and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell and I'm here to give you financial tips and tricks that are going to help you on your road to know your money. And today I am talking to my beauty professionals because I'm always trying to figure out how to help you guys make more money. We're trying to make money. We're trying to save money. We're trying to manage our money and we're trying to make sure that we are in control of our money. So in this video, I want to talk to you. If you are a beauty professional, then I'm going to give you a couple of ways to make some extra money. If you are seeing a slow season in your business and you just need to bring in some extra cash. So the first thing is I suggest that you sell e-gift cards. While you're yeah. trying to uh, get people to come in, you can get these e-gift cards and give them to or sell them to your clients, your current clients, and they can buy them for their friends and their family, or they can even buy them for themselves for a future date. You can use either Square Up or Cash Tar to do these e-gift cards. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description box. Next, you can take advantage of early appointments. And what I mean by that is you can give discounts to your clients if they book a um, future appointment in advance. So say someone wants to come in the next two months or they want to make sure that they uh, get an appointment with you every month, then you go ahead and book them out two months in advance. And then you make sure that they pay the amount for that service ahead of time. So for example, if you do a color and usually you charge a hundred dollars for your color. If this person pays in advance for getting their hair colored a month out, then you, maybe you reduce it down to $80 instead of a hundred dollars. And then that way you're getting your money in advance and you're assuring that you have a client in the future. And you've also helped out your client to have a discount. The next idea I have is for you to record hair tutorials and sell them. You can sell them through something like Thinkific or Teachable or any other platforms that are willing to put up a tutorial and that you can sell it. I personally use PayHip. I think I've talked about that in previous videos, but I'll put the link to all of those in the description box. PayHip helps me because I don't have to pay anything up front. I can just record a tutorial and then put it into the area to charge for it. And then PayHip will take a percentage of whatever I charge for that tutorial off the top and they deliver it to my customer and they deliver the link and everything to the customer. And then I get the fee for it. So there is a way that you can do you, if you are really good at braiding and you can show someone how to braid online and you have the um, tips and tricks or whatever down, instead of putting those videos up for free on something like, you know, TikTok or Instagram or whatever, why don't you record yourself doing it and then take that tutorial, put it up on one of those platforms, sell it for a fee, whatever that would be for you that you think that would be worth you spending your time doing that and then promote it to people and say, Hey, if you are interested in, you know, learning how to braid, then go ahead and watch my tutorial. Here's the link to it. This is the, how much it costs, et cetera, et cetera. And then that way you're making some extra money on the side. The next way that you can make some money is selling eBooks that are giving your clients or customers like step-by-step -step instructions on something that you do for them on a regular basis. And, or maybe you've told them, Hey, you need to do this at home, maybe a hot oil treatment or something like that. And then you can sell these eBooks to them and have them download it so that they know exactly what steps they need to take every month or every week or however often you have them doing it at home. Me personally, I learn best by 
reading. I am able to follow directions, reading step by step. I'm not really a training person where I'm sitting there listening to a trainer and I don't Sometimes when they're talking, it turns into a wah, 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 and then it goes in one ear and out the other, and then unless I take notes. So for me, I like looking at eBooks. I like my manuals. I like things that have step-by-step instructions. So maybe your clients are the same. Maybe when you tell them in the shop, hey, you need to do this to your hair every day. First, you start by doing this, you do this, and you do this, and you do that. And they're like, okay. But they're not really paying attention because like they're in the shop, you've done their hair, they're listening to somebody over here talk, maybe their phone's going off, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you have an ebook and you have the steps laid out for them and you say, hey, go over to my page or here's the link or whatever, and it's five dollars or whatever. And these are going to give you instructions on what you need to do. Here you go. Or a pamphlet or even a one sheeter. It could be either one of those. You can get that to your client and it will help them, especially the ones that are learners like I am. Okay. My next idea is if you have products that are bottled or jarred and you can sell them to your clients or friends and family or whatever, sell them and have free shipping available. So if you sell them and it's free shipping, people are more up to purchase than to have to pay for your product and also pay for shipping. You understand? So let's think about referrals. If you have a product and you think it's a really good product, but you also need more clients or you need more people purchasing them. Well, then you would give your clients or your customers or your friends and family or whatever, a percentage of your, of the sales that they make. So if they are referring your hair oil to their friends and family, then they get a percentage of the sale, which would help you. It's kind of like what um, Avon does or Mary Kay. You sell their product, you get a percentage of the sale. Same thing, you have somebody sell your product and then they get a percentage of the sale, but you're also, you're getting the most percentage, say you're getting 90% and they're getting 10. It's a win-win, it's a win for you because you're getting more customers and it's a win for them because they're feeling like they're helping you out and they're also helping their own pockets out. Okay, so, so far I've given you five different ways to make money as a beauty professional without having to do hair or nails or makeup in your salon. So this one is going to be a bonus. (laughs) This is something that kind of, uh, some people might think it's morbid or they're not into it, but I do have friends that have made a considerable about a considerable amount of money from doing this. That is calling funeral homes and asking them if they need hairstylists and or makeup artists to do the makeup or the hair or even the nails of a person that has dis- has passed away. Now, if you are like me, and you're not willing to work with deceased people and that's not your thing, then this is not for you, okay? Because when you're there, you have to be willing to work in conditions where it might not have the best smell, um, it might not have the best area, lighting, etc. But it's something where you can make money on the side away from the hair salon or the or your makeup sales or your nail salon, etc. So, like I said, you can call your local funeral homes and just find out, hey, do you guys need a makeup artist or a hair professional or someone to do the nails um, or even a stylist, like someone to style the clothing on the person um, to help them look their best uh, when their family comes to view the body. So I hope that this information has helped you. Go ahead and like this video so that I know that I would prefer, um, 
prepare more videos kind of like this for different professionals out there that might not be able to make the money at their location, but they want to make some extra money. Also share it with your friends and family so that they will know how to make some extra money as well. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great one. Bye.